Our scripture for today is from Mark 12, 38 through 44. As he taught, he said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have the best seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for the sake of appearance say long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which are worth a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of those who are contributing to the treasury. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. This is the word of God for the people of God. God. Please join me in silent prayer. Amen. Making a difference in our community. Last week, it was making a difference in the world. So we're in now the middle of a stewardship drive, but also in the middle of a sermon series. And can you imagine any kind of stewardship drive without this scripture reading about the widow, giving her her all that she had? And how many times have we heard this scripture being used to say, you should be giving more. This is about you giving all that you have. Have you heard that? That's not what this passage is about at all. What this passage is, is that what are we told, who are we told to take care of all throughout the Old Testament and New Testament? The widows and the orphans. And yet, the scribes and the Pharisees were not taking care of the widows and the orphans. They were devouring the widows' houses. And so, this was Jesus saying, Your worship is meaningless, meaningless, because you are not living out your faith. You are not taking care of the people you are supposed to. So instead of being, look at this widow, she is the example for all of us to give money to. Jesus is saying, this poor widow should not have to give everything that she has, because you should be taking care of her. And so instead of me standing up here and saying, see, follow the example of the widow. Give until it hurts. Give until you you can't anymore. Instead, it's more that we need to be careful to make sure that we're not being like the scribes and the Pharisees, expecting more from the poor than what they're able to give because we're not making a difference in the community. And so how are we making a difference in the community. I saw something on Facebook I have for the last couple of weeks that I just loved. And it was a story about a woman who was really impatient. She must have been late to something. And so she was tailgating the car in front of her. Have you ever done that? Never, ever, right? She was tailgating the car in front of her, and the car in front of her, the light turned yellow, and the car slowed down and stopped at that intersection. And she knew she could have gone through the intersection. I mean, I hate it when people do that, don't you? When you just, you've already decided, you know, you've reached that magic point. Okay, if it turns now, I'm still going to make it through. She slammed on her brakes, and she managed to stop, but she was so angry that she hit the ceiling, the roof of her car. She, she gave some not nice gestures. She was yelling, talking to herself. She was so angry. Well, right then, a police officer walked up to her car and knocked on her window. And she put her window down, and he said, please, woman, please, ma'am, step out of the car. He put cuffs on her, and he took her to jail. She was, she was fingerprinted, all of it. And she was let to sit in the, in the holding cell. And then she came out and he said, I am so sorry, I made a mistake. She's like, well, why did you arrest me? And he said, well, ma'am, 
I assumed that you had stolen the car. The car that, that had the fish sign and the car that had all of these bumper stickers saying that you were a Christian. So, when people, when we claim the greatest faith, like those scribes and Pharisees, but we don't make a difference in our community, then we are being as hypocritical as the woman in the car. But I know that that's not how we're being. Oops. This is the example that amazes me. Jimmy Carter, 91 years old, cancer throughout his body. They took part of his liver, his brain. I mean, he has gone through so much, is receiving radiation treatments at 91. And still through this, he is still helping to build houses for Habitat for Humanity. I am so impressed. Is there any doubt but that this man is a Christian? No doubt. Did you know that even when Jimmy Carter was in the White House, he was not only attending church every Sunday, he was teaching a Sunday school class every Sunday as he was president. An incredible, faithful man who lives out his faith. Every time we do something in the community, every time we are throwing the pebbles into the water and creating ripples, there is so much that I have seen this congregation doing. And when we do those things in the community, who are we representing? Christ. We are representing Christ and we are representing the church. Hillview, whether or not it's a Hillview-sponsored thing that you're going out and doing. When, when we are doing any of our, our things in the, in the community, like that woman driving her car, we are reflecting our faith, our faith. And so if you're going to drive like that and behave like that, never say that you're from Hillview. <laughs> But I love that, the rocks going into the water and creating ripples. So you'll notice in your pews, there are little pebbles, paper pebbles. What we're asking is for you to write down what is it that you're doing in the community? What are the ripples that you are creating in the community? And Kim Custer is going to come forward and she's going to share what she does, and also how we could have an opportunity. And then, during a song, they'll know we are Christians by our love, we will gather together those, those pebbles, and we'll put them on the ripple, tape them onto the ripples up there. Christy made the ripples, painted the ripples for us. My understanding is that she did it with the black around the edges because of the darkness in the world, and that the ripples are radiating out, covering the darkness. So thank you for creating that for us. And let me get a mic for you. So go in peace to continue making ripples in this community. To not be so concerned with how you look and how you act, but instead to be more concerned with what a difference we can make together in the name of Christ. Go in peace and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen.